All right, guys, welcome to No Man's Sky Companions Update, release number 3.2. I'm Survival Bomb, and we are going to be going over the trailer and my reaction to the news as it has been dropped on the websites. We'll do the patch notes in a separate video. I'll put a link as well to that. If you want to check that out, please do. But this is going to be as quick as I can going over all the new features of the Pets Update 3.2. No Man's Sky. Adopt an alien creature and explore the universe side by side in the Companions Update. Take care of your new friend as they find hidden resources and protect you from hostile aliens. Or genetically modify their eggs and breed unique, never before seen creatures. This sounds really cool. Lots in here, lots to unpack. Let's take a look at this trailer and then we will move into the rest of it. All right, into the patch notes, a galaxy of new companions. The infinite and varied creatures you find roaming the universe can now be tamed and adopted as your companions. Once bonded to you, your new friends can be summoned anywhere, even aboard the space anomaly. And I saw Captain Steve has already got a video out about how to do that. Looks really cool. Man, look at these, this guy's got a helmet on. <laughs> what? So they can't breathe? Oh, that's awesome. They've got, the, oh, well, this is a non-atmosphere planet, it looks like. That's pretty cool. All right. Nurture the young. Baby creatures will inherit looks and traits from their parent, but they are never exactly the same. They will need your care as they grow from spawn to maturity. So it sounds like we've got some kind of uh, responsibility in this to help them grow and mature. Uh, let's see. Look at these little guys. Oh, this is cool. Look at this. You got a buddy to explore with you. Form your bond. Earn the trust of your companion by playing with them, feeding them, and giving them attention. A handful of creature pellets can go a long way. I mean, that's all Bob really needs to play with me, feed me, and give me some attention. I'm good to go. Fussy fella. They, so you can name them, it looks like, as well. I'm assuming that's not a procedurally generated name. Explore together. Keeping your animal companions well cared for brings a host of practical benefits, including scanning for resources, marking hazards, providing torchlight, hunting hostile creatures, locating buildings, digging up valuable treasures, and deploying their own shoulder-mounted mining lasers? What? Oh my gosh, we can put shoulder-mounted mining lasers on them. Holy crap. I knew you could put stuff on them, but I didn't realize what it was exactly. That's pretty epic. Look at this guy. Oh, a harvested gift. Okay, so he's giving that to us, maybe. It's like a cat bringing you a dead bird or something. Look at these guys. Oh my god, I can't wait to jump in here and play with this. But I gotta make this video for you guys first, so I hope you'll leave a like on this for me. Let me know you appreciate it. Give me your thoughts in the comments down below. Unique personalities. A creature's personality is shaped by their species and ecosystem role, but their individual personality is one of a kind. Their personality influences how they behave as well as how they think. Hmm, I wonder what that means. There's gonna be some interesting experimentation going on with personality. 
<laughs> on these guys, I am sure. Alien Neuro Translation. The creature harness has a neural link with the exosuit, enabling rudimentary translation of their thoughts and wishes. They're going to talk to us? Are you kidding me? Companions may share their feelings toward their owner, comment on the life form and geography they encounter, or simply express their inner world. Oh my god, I can't wait for this. This is going to be so much fun. Uh, excited. Roar. Dumb thing. I will destroy it. Mah. Suit creature. Uh, all bad feeling. Clever. Clever. Melty world is broop. That's, this is, this is going to be awesome. I've never seen anything like this. Play together. Your companion reacts to your every move. They will run alongside you or play in response to your own gestures. Use specific command gestures to issue orders to your co-explorer so we can tell them what to do. We can send them around. When your companion meets other creatures or companions, they might become inquisitive, playful, or even aggressive, depending on their personality. Nice. Look at these pictures. My gosh. Companion customizations. Accessorize your companion with a range of functional and decorative adornments. Accessories can be recolored and customized with decals. Man, this is going to lead to a whole nother level. So this looks like the accessories that we have to choose from. Expand your collection. Up to six creatures can be adopted as companions. The companion register screen provides an overview of your collection, including their mood, trust, and personality traits. Your companions can be renamed. Should you wish to give them a name reflective of your time together, or if your friendship has come to an end, you can even abandon them from your collection. Oh, that's sad. I guess we're going to release them into the wild. Let's let's make that a little happier. Um, now, I did hear Captain Steve in his video say that uh, the names weren't sticking yet, so he could rename it, but it didn't stay. So let me know what your uh, experience is with that. I'm curious in the comments down below. Is the name sticking with your guys? So it looks like we can have six, maybe, uh, companions. And this one says locked. I don't know if it's not there or if it's just locked or what. Let's see what the patch notes say. You can wave to them, and they can kind of give you a little head nod. Raise a new generation. Creatures that have been well cared for will lay eggs. Incubate the eggs in your exosuit until it's ready to hatch into a brand new life form. He just dropped an egg. And then he hugged him. That's crazy. Look at this. UI improvements. Players using a mouse and keyboard can now use hotkeys to select options in dialogue menus and interactions. A gecky oh, holy crap. Wait, so we can hotkey one, two, three? Oh yeah, I like that. That's gonna speed things up. Players using a gamepad can now use the analog sticks to quickly move between options and dialogue menus and interactions. So you don't have to move the mouse around. I like it. It'll probably cause me to hit the wrong button more, but I still like it. Wild creature improvements. The bait system has been streamlined. Any creature has been fed may now be ridden or milked. I have nipples, Greg. Could you milk me? Cooking strange eggs has never been easier. Oh, we're going to cook the eggs now. All right. Well, it happens. Riding has been enabled for giant creatures, granting a new and dramatic perspective when exploring planets. Genetic trading. Players who have found particularly rare or desirable creatures may wish to trade eggs from their prize companions with other players. Ooh, is this a player economy? Is this the beginning of a player economy? I am interested in that. I really think that would be cool. Look at these guys. Gene resequencing. Genetic material can also be taken to the new egg sequencer aboard the Space Anomaly. The egg sequencer allows players to remix the genetic material of their growing eggs to produce unique, never-before-seen creatures. But beware, overdosing eggs in the sequencer may cause dramatic creature reconfigurations. Oh, so we've got something to do with nip-nip buds, finally. That's interesting. And then it's got little um, statuses here. We've got height, weight, increasing, um, anatomy, unstable, coloring, unstable, aggression, decreasing. So the nip-nip makes them less aggressive. Seems legit. And it looks like this is on all platforms. Guys, that's the end of this video. I'm going to make a second video with the patch notes because I didn't want this one to be 20 minutes long. Go check it out. I'll put a link as well to that. This is Survival Bob. Make sure you like and comment on this. Tell me what you think about pets. We'll see you next time. And remember, if you're going to be a Bob, have fun with it. And uh, if you're going to get your patch notes, let Bob read them for you. It's legit. I promise.